Hey Venom fans, Venom Man here today, and this little worm that we have out on the table is a venomous little pit viper, so don't get too close. This right here is a freshly born Prothidium duni, or the Dun's Hognose Viper. These guys are really rare. They inhabit only a tiny little section down in southern Mexico. There's actually nine species in this genus, and you might have seen a venomous snake a lot like this before. More than likely, you have seen Prothidium ophriomagus, or the slender hognose viper. But these guys are really awesome, and like I said, they were just born. So, I actually have a little bit of the video footage of the mom and the dad compilating and getting down to business making little babies and that was filmed before I got the fancy lighting and everything so the video is a little rough but I will insert that into the end of this video but these little guys actually I came across them because I came into the reptile building not sure that the female was even pregnant and I seen some thrashing around inside the cage the enclosure wasn't sure what was going on got it down and figured out one of these little guys was trying to eat one of the other little guys they are cannibalistic little buttholes. I can't believe it. So that's why I have them all inside these little deli dishes right now. This one's still open, haven't closed it completely. But uh, got them all separated. But just very feisty little snakes. I mean, already at this size, thinking that he can eat another snake the same size of him, that's impressive. So these guys typically actually live pretty low in elevation, uh, down on rocky hillsides. Um, I've seen some confliction in the literature as far as climate. Uh, some of the literature states that they live in kind of jungly, moister areas, and other literature says it's more grasslandy. I know that as I spray them, they seem to like it. They don't seem to mind it too much. So I'm going to get a guess that they are kind of higher humidity and they don't tend to mind the water like a rattlesnake would or something like that. But what's also interesting about the Dunn's Hognose Viper, besides being rare, is that the locals in the area are afraid of the snake. Now, of course, this one's tiny, this one's cute. And as they get bigger, which they don't get very big, they don't have a super toxic venom. Like, it's nothing you want to get tagged by, by no means, but to kill you would be, that would be pretty rare. But the locals are, are pretty afraid of them, and they say that they've had a lot of serious bites from these snakes. They don't mention any other of the nine species, well, eight species, if you're not counting this guy. So it's weird, I don't know if this guy's a little bit more toxic than the other species, or you know exactly what's going on. It could almost be like the cottonmouth copperhead thing we have here in America. Everybody's terrified of the cottonmouth, people are just a little leery of the copperhead. Really, the cottonmouth is a little bit more of a medically significant bite, but it isn't typically life ending, so whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the adults. You ready to go up, little dude? Gotta be very gentle with you because you're so tiny. Here. Do you want to uncoil for me? Can I, can I just push you? Can I, can I, can I just push you? guys in close to see this I do believe this is the adult female I haven't flipped the little log branchy thing over yet but we will see soon enough that does look like the female hey sweetheart these guys aren't too feisty all in all like I don't mind working with them they're pretty cool let's go ahead and bump that up sorry about shaking you guys up but there she is just a beautiful red looking snake 
So these guys actually got species ranking back in 1938 by a guy by the name of Emmett Reed Dunn, which is an American herpetologist. So just a very interesting little snake. What's up? What are you doing? Should we show off your boyfriend? Are you, are you tired? Are you done with this? Are you over me messing with you? I love this stripe down their back. Such a good looking little snake. I don't know how to get this stuff back in there. Let's see. There you go. There's your little hidey hole. You go back to doing you. And of course, this right here is the male Prothidium Dunai. I absolutely love this guy's colors. Like, he blends in so well with rocks. Now, he's sitting on a piece of bark here, so it's kind of hard to tell. But imagine seeing this guy on a rocky hillside. It would be so hard to actually pick him up out of all the other rocky material. Now, with that being said, I just showed you two very contrasting individuals. I don't want you to take for granted that they're sexually dimorphic or differ males from females. They actually just differ a lot from individual to individual. Now, I have noticed it's actually very hard to tell the difference between the localities and the different subspecies. So we've came to that time in the evening where we need to turn the lights down low, turn the music up, and bump uglies. So here, as promised, are the Prothidium Dunai breeding. So I had some Prothidium Dunai, I do believe Prothidium Yucatanicum breeding. I filmed this probably seven months ago, eight months ago, and uh, the lighting isn't real great, but I really didn't want to disturb them. I just put them together and they just automatically took to it. So uh, this is uh, pretty awesome right here. As you see, these two individuals actually look quite a bit similar, unlike the other male and female pair, which look quite a bit different uh, between the sexes, but just a beautiful snake. And so cool to see this. I don't know how many people have actually seen this species breed. I mean, this is, a, this is pretty rare footage right here. So it's just amazing seeing this. But yeah, they uh, they seem to be getting down with it. I don't want to disturb them, of course. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here, finish it out. You can watch us as long as you want to, you creeps. But uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I do appreciate you checking it out. I'm going to try to have another video up by Saturday. I know I was running a little late this week. We're going to see how that goes. Anyway, check back. Y'all have a good one. Like a ride, but take your stuff back, baby.